Okay, guys, let's do our next part on Bob the Shark. So I hope at home you are planning out your books as well. So I want to show you this book, which is over on the bookshelf. We're going to be reading it today and kind of comparing how it's looking with your book. So here's what the cover looks like. Now, if you will notice on the inside, it does not have a table of contents. Your book will. That's because we're just learning how to write. These guys that write these books already know how to write. They've already planned their book out. Their table of contents are not included in the book. They probably have them in like an art studio somewhere where they've planned their book out already. Ours is just included in here because we're learning how to do it. So Bob the Shark, we have our cover page, our title, written and illustrated by, and your name. So we are planning out our pages. We said in our first page, or our first part of this story, we would introduce our character, <laughs> Bob, and our setting, which is the ocean. Now I've introduced Bob's problem. Bob lost a tooth. <clears throat> so let's make his problem a little bit worse. Let's say that Bob tried to catch a little fish. I'll draw a little fish right here. Here's Bob. With his big sharky gums. Oh, he made his eye goofy. That's not where Bob's eye goes. It goes. Okay. He's trying to eat. Can you guys see it? So he's going to try to eat the little fish. Little fish is like, no. Oh, he looks worried. So here's what happened. Since Bob lost a tooth, Bob has a hard time catching fish. So Bob lost a tooth. Bob has a hard time catching fish. He doesn't have one of his teeth. His teeth are missing. So that's his problem. His problem just got a little bit worse. So when we get to our next page tomorrow, we're going to write what happens, how the problem gets even worse, and then start looking for a solution to our problem. So you guys plan the next part of your story. Another thing I want us to do, remember we're doing Teacher Thursday. I forgot to do it last Thursday. Where I'm going to write a sentence, and you're going to be the teacher, and you're going to grade it and tell me what I did wrong. So this is kind of going to be a little test to some of you guys to see who's watching my videos. Because I think a lot of kids are skipping some of my videos. So we're going to see who's been paying good attention. If you see things that are wrong in my writing, send me a little seesaw uh, note telling me what I need to fix. So here we go. I'm going to be a kid. I'm going to write a sentence. I'm going to write about the weather. So I'm going to give my, my writing a title. I'm going to call it weather. Remember, I sounded out the best that I can. Because I'm pretending to be you guys. When you get to be my age, you know how to do all kinds of spelling. But when I'm your age and I'm little, I'm just learning. So I can sound it out. Here I go. W -e -v -v Ooh, I know that that's T-H. We just learned that. Weather. Weather. It is cold. Out. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. W out. I don't know how to spell out. Out. It is cold out. Out. Side. It is cold outside. I. Th. Oh, I know th is th. Hey, and I know ink is I and K because we just learned that, so that's something I can spell right. I think it w ill. Snow. Some time. The it's winter. W w winter. I think it will snow sometime this winter. I w want w on. Want 
to build b b b build a snow sn oh man okay there's my writing just like you guys would write look it over take your time Take your time. Pause the video if you need to. Check it out. You get to be the teacher. Grade me on my writing. Tell me how I did. Tell me what I need to fix. Send me a note and seesaw telling me what I need to fix since it is Teacher Thursday.